So in this culinarian guy, I wanted to discuss a quick way to level up the 50th culinarian. Uh, just like with all my other crafting guides, I first want to discuss some quick leveling tips. So if you aren't familiar with this item by now, the one particular item you should be familiar with is the company issue engineering manual. This will give you some bonus experience points. Make sure you buy this. Use this from levels 1 to 30. As far as other things about leveling quicker go, when you're leveling, you don't have to worry too much about your armor slots. Just make sure your offhand and your main hand are up to date. The rest is not that important. Now you can get from 1 to 50 off of just 2 or 3 sets of armor, but you want to go through a new main hand you know, as often as you can, just because most of your stats are going to come from these two slots. And finally, when you are crafting, if you don't, if time's not an issue and you're just trying to craft for experience, you want to make sure you try to maximize your quality score. That will give you bonus experience points. But if you're just crafting for repeatable leave turn-ins, then you know you might not want to take the time to do that. So as I just mentioned, repeatable leaves are the fastest way to level in Final Fantasy XIV uh, when it comes to any craft. So you get repeatable leaves in two places. One is the major city where your craft is found. For Culinarian, that's going to be in Limsa Laminsa. And you also get them at various towns throughout the map. So I'm going to quickly discuss the best leveling leave by level. So at level 20, you can either go to Limsa Laminsa or Quarry Mill. They both are about the same. Um, quarry Mill lets you use apple tarts, Limsa Laminsa lets you use walnut bread. It really comes down to whether or not Gradanian walnuts or fairy apples are cheaper on the market boards. If fairy apples are cheaper, which they usually are, Quarry Mill is actually the best bet. And just to take a step back really quickly, a repeatable leave is a leave that has this card right here. You'll see these two people. It generally requires three to six ingredients, and when you turn this in, you actually get the option to turn it in a few more times in a row. So it's a really good experience if you can turn get three quest turn-ins off of just one turn-in. Also, you'll get up to triple experience points if you turn in all high-quality items. So if you were to turn in three high-quality loaves of walnut bread, you'd wind up with like 15,000-some experience for just the one turn-in, Turn it up to three times, you could potentially get 45,000 experience points off of one leave allowance. So if you're tight on allowances, you want to make sure that you're turning in high quality items. It really does help. So at level 20, so at level 20, Quarry Mill is going to be the best, and that's in South Shroud. Just to show you on the map really quickly. So Quarry Mill here, it's going to have the best level 20 leave. The best level 25 leave, though, is going to come from Limsa Minsa, and that's the Cups of Chamomile Tea. Uh, they're pretty cheap. You can buy those off of... You can buy chamomile off of the market boards. They're pretty cheap. So I want to discuss one little trick, and that has to do with the level 30 leave, which is cornmeal for Limsa Laminsa. So what you're going to find is that in Gradania, there's a particular vendor which sells two ingredients which are commonly used for the um, culinarian and they're very cheap but only if you go to the vendor. People com commonly will buy its ingredients and sell them in sacks of 99 to try to flip them for gill. And that is a good strategy actually if you have open market board slots, especially if you're a new player. You know, for a higher level player it's just not going to be worth that much. So in New Gradania here this place called the Whistling Miller and you can see it's by the amphitheater. I couldn't quite remember so if you can use the Ethernet to get there quicker. So inside there's going to be an NPC called Little John and he is going to sell you rye flour, sunset wheat flour, and cornmeal for next to nothing. Uh, cornmeal is somewhat expensive but you can actually for the level 30 repeatable leave you turn in six of these so for six, it's just 342 gil. That's not bad for a level 30 repeatable leave. Now you buy a couple sacks of this, and you can get from 30 to 35 an hour or so. Or not even an hour or so, in a couple minutes. You just run back and forth and turn in the leaves 10 times, 10, 15 times, and you'll get those five levels. Okay, so at level 35, 
your best bet is once again Limsol Minsa, and that's going to be for the acorn cookie. And acorn cookies are really cheap to make. You know, this rye flour, as we just showed, is two gill each at that MPC, and mineral water and table salt can be, you know, you can make table salt really easily. You can buy mineral water off of the MPC. And I hate falling down here. I feel like it happens all the time now. And as I'm, as I'm talking, I'm just running towards the market boards. There's two things I want to show you. So we talked about that NPC there. There's one more NPC that you really need to know about. If I mean, this one's a lot less hidden, but it's just a tradecraft supplier. Basically, near any market boards in town, you're going to find an NPC called a tradecraft supplier. They're in, you know, the rows of vendors. And this one here is in Gardenia. It's going to be right here. And what this supplier sells is pretty much everything. So for culinarian, it sells you know, cinnamon, sour red, little grapes, chicken breast, um, pretty much all kinds of good stuff. So it, it's nice to have. And so what we're getting at here is I'm going to head over to the market boards and go to meals. I'm going to jump down to acorn cookie. And what you're going to find is, these are actually super cheap on the market board. So rather than try to make your own, you only need three for the repeatable leave. You can buy this stack of 99, and that will take you all the way from 35 to 40 plus. And there might even be some high quality ones cheap. Yeah, even better, buy this stack of 25 at 800 gold piece. And, you know, those high quality turnips, if you buy both of these, that'll be 40,000 gil. You get back about 20,000 gil from the turnips, plus you get a bunch of shards, and you'll go from 35 to 40 in the blink of an eye. So at level 40, you once again want to stick to Limsala Minsa, and the same trick works here. At level 40, the leave is for either pastry fish, which are kind of expensive, so I don't really recommend these, or apple juice, which tends to be really cheap. Yeah, 300 gil for 99, and the high quality stuff is, and it's kind of expensive right now, so I'd stick with the lower end. But you could buy these 150, that would take you from 40 to 45, no problem. And then from 45 to 50, we can do tomato pie, which is actually going to be in Mordana. And I'll show you that on the map in just one second. Let's see what the costs currently are. So they're kind of expensive right now, but. You know, three, probably two stacks of 18, 50k, that will take you close to, you know, 45 to 50, and you'll make about half that back in gill rewards. So, not a bad option, but you can also make tomato pies yourself pretty cheaply. They don't really use many expensive ingredients. And for the tomato pie leave, you're going to turn that in at St. Coinex Find here in Mordana. That's from 45 to 50. So, just a quick recap. Level 20, you're going to get a quarry mill for apple tarts. Level 25, you're going to get a limsil mensa for chamomile tea. For level 30, you're going to get a limsil mensa for cornmeal. For level 35, you're going to get a limsil mensa for acorn cookies. Level 40, you're going to get a limsil mensa for apple juice. And you can take apple juice all the way to 50, but if you want, you can also go to St. Coin X Find for tomato pies. It really depends how cheap tomato pies are on your server. So that's pretty much all there is to level, uh, leveling culinarian. Um, again, from level 30s to 50, if you can just see, save up 50 or 60 allowances, you can buy your way there for 30k gil, maybe 50k gil net after you, after you spend, you know, after you get all your gil rewards back. It's so fast. You can go from 30 to 50 in an hour or two just running in items without crafting a single thing. So I do strongly recommend that. If you are going to grind, you can typically get... I'm going to quickly discuss the best way to grind. So from levels 1 to 4, I'm going to just look up something real quick. Pulling up my grinding list. Sorry, I didn't have it up earlier. Okay, so from levels 1 to 4, we're going to do maple syrup. You can buy this off the guild, guild vendor. Uh, levels 4 to 6, honey, you can buy that off the guild vendor as well. Uh, sunset wheat flour here. Buy the sunset wheat off the guild supplier. You actually want to save this for later. We will come back to this item. 
Nets from level 6 to 10. From 10 to 12, you're going to make Kukuru butter. You can just vendor this when you're done. We're not going to use it. From levels 12 to 14, you can make tomato sauce. Buy all this off the vendor as well. 14 to 18, we're going to make pie dough. You can make your own table salt, or you can buy it off uh, maybe the Traycraft supplier. I'm not 100% sure on that. But you can make it yourself or miss nothing anyway. So you might as well just make it yourself. We already made this in a previous step, and mineral water is off the guild supplier. So you can make pie dough all the way to level 18, and you can save your pie dough because you do use it later. So from levels 18 to 20, we're going to make meat mikabob. I'm not sure to pronounce that. All of this is actually available off the guild supplier, including dodo tenderloin. So keep that in mind. So here's where we're first going to have to start making uh, items with things off the market boards. Pixie plums. I like this recipe, dry prunes, from 20 to 25. You can usually actually sell these for about a break even. These dry prunes, once they're done, maybe even a slight profit. They're pretty good leveling food, so players will tend to buy them. The same goes for that the meat maker Bob here. You, know, you want to sell these, don't vendor these. They have some value. So from 20 to 25, we did dried prunes. From 25 to 32, we're going to make chicken stock. You can buy chicken breast off the Tradecraft supplier, and this is available off the vendors as well. This is pretty convenient since you can make this high level recipe without actually having to buy anything off the market boards. It's pretty cheap that way. And you can just keep this or you can sell it. You know, it does have some resale value but not a lot. So don't expect to make a lot of money off of this one. And then moving on, we're going to do that to 32. Then from 32 to 35 we're going to make acorn cookies. As discussed, these are the level 35 repeatable leave turn in, so save those to turn in. I'd highly recommend it. And if you're going to keep leveling off of grinding from here, it gets somewhat expensive. I do like Knight's Bread here. You know, Rye Flowers available at Whistling Miller, um, Tradecraft Supplier, Guild Supplier, Tradecraft Supplier, Tradecraft Supplier. The only thing you have to buy is Midland Basil, and this is a pretty good tanking food, so it does sell on the market boards. And you can usually actually make a little bit of profit off of night spread, so it's not too bad. And then from 42 to 50, if you're going to grind, make tomato pie. You know, it's a, it's the only really cheap high-level recipe, and even then, it's not so cheap just because the shard cost adds up. You know, so I'd recommend doing leaves at this point, but if you really want to grind, just want to throw that out as an option. So that's about it for this culinary leveling guide. Um, you stick to the leaves, and my, again, my biggest tip is just to buy food already crafted on the market boards. It's so cheap that you can usually actually level up for free just by buying the items already made and then turning them in for profit. So I hope this video was helpful for you, and check out my other videos.